guys, welcome to Rama's Fish Room. Today I'm just going to make a quick little video unboxing the Sun Sun HW5000. I've been excited to get this filter um, and it's finally time to open it. So let's have a look at what's inside. Alright guys, I'm super excited to see what's inside this. I haven't, I haven't googled what's inside, I haven't watched any reviews, so I actually don't even know if it comes with media. I know nothing about this filter except the fact that I wanted one. Um, I'm a huge fan of Sun Sun. Uh, I know they cop a lot of crap on the internet, but price versus um, quality, well, I wouldn't say quality, price for what they do is awesome. Um, yes, I will agree their plastics are slightly brittle, but that just means you've got to take a little bit more care, hey? Um, I've, I've actually, there's the filter anyway. I've never had a Sun Sun break on me, but I've always taken that extra 10% care to um, make sure that I'm gentle with them. Alright. Is there anything inside these? Who knows? Alright, so it looks like we've got a couple of hoses. One thing I will say, it doesn't seem very long. Um, I probably won't be using these hoses just because um, my tank has hard plumbing. Or I may the, I may use these, who knows. I'll, I'll let you know in a future video. Anyway, so those two triangles just have two hoses. Um, I do like the hose actually. It's like non-kink. It's soft. It's not like the plastic hoses. Those hoses are definitely decent quality. Uh, this box here. Like I said guys, I've got no idea what's inside here. Alright, I'll try to open this as quick as possible. We'll just open it out into the box. And then we'll all have a look. Alright, so we've got spray bars, um, clamps for the top of the tank for the hoses, that's pretty cool. Um, our two outlets for our filter. One thing I will say about this, it's only a 25mm outlet, I expected a bigger outlet on it. That's only the same size as the Nautilus 2700. Um, you've got like your um, strainer for your return and the controller this is what I'm most excited about all the um, all the pumps these days are coming out with speed controllers I really like that because that means you can buy a bigger filter and run it on a smaller tank and um, lower the speed for more media contact time I'm generally a person that doesn't like high speed, believe it or not. I like low speed, plenty of media contact time. All right, so it's got a ring. Um, first thing I'll say about that, compared to the competitor, which this is the copy of, that is much quicker to get off. Um, I could see this getting a bit brittle, but, but obviously, like I said before, 10% extra care. All right. We've got rubber o-ring, it's greased up. It's actually, if my memory, memory serves me correct, it's been a while since I've owned an FX filter. This looks substantially smaller inside. Wow. This is a lot smaller inside. Um, I'd actually be interested to look up the um, specs of the media volume. I'd really, I wish I had an FX here to sit it next to it because it looks way smaller. It comes with white, white foam. I throw that in the bin. I don't use that. Throw all that in the bin. I don't use this stuff, guys. Um, 
I never have. I don't really see the need for it. My wallet, my water seems to stay pretty, pretty polished without it. Um, wow, this is not very big inside. I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to tell from the video my disappointment in the size. The plastic feels pretty good. It feels basically like a Sun Sun filter, if you've ever owned one. It's got some sort of sediment drain down there, that's cool. Um, it's got a UV in it, which I probably won't run, because I don't... It's only... It's 9 watt UV. There's not really much point, I don't reckon. For me, a UV needs to be a lot more powerful than that to actually have a, an effect on the tank. So first impression, it's definitely not as big as I thought it was going to be inside. However, I think it will be plenty for what I need. I'm only running on a four foot tank, um, four by two by two and a half foot. That's my first impression, guys. As far as a review, I'll, I'll be posting a review in the next maybe, I think I'll let it run for at least four weeks before I decide to review it. Um, I think as far as a review perspective, I'm gonna look at like flow rates. Um, just make sure it doesn't stop. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna subscribe for more, subscribe for more. And if you wanna drop a comment letting me know any product you want me to review, then just drop it in the comments and I'll see if I can get it. Anyway, peace out.